Hey guys, what's up? This is Shane Dublin, and this is episode 3 of my Applied Energistics tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be going over a little bit more of the advanced features and the automation that you can do with Applied Energistics 2. So you have your AE system, and you decide that you always want to turn all your raw chicken into cooked chicken. So all you want to do is just throw your cooked, your raw chicken and your coal into the A system and you expect to get cooked chicken out. So how do you do that? Well I'm going to show you. You get your ME drive set up. You get your ME controller because you have a bigger system than this. Power. You get your cables. And you get your terminal, your chests you don't really need the chests and then you get your 1k drives because you're cheap and it's just for chicken anyways fill this sucker up and then you put your coal and your chicken into the system get your furnace and your export buses and your import buses wow it's going to be difficult on me isn't it okay export export import is on the bottom then you hook it up to your cables You grab one piece of chicken and one piece of charcoal. You tell the charcoal to go in the top. Or actually, oh my gosh. Tell your chicken to go in the top. I just cleared my chicken. Chicken to go in the top. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, your chicken goes in the top. Your coal goes in the back and your export bus is on the bottom, or your import bus is on the bottom so it's going to automatically pull all the chicken out cooked chicken gets pulled out and puts back into your yummy system now you can also import other things into your system so if you don't want to open up your terminal or if you can auto feed into this chest it'll import it but you think hey I'm going to have a quarry and I'm going to have tons of ores that I want to import and be exporting into my furnaces. So, and I'm going to be pulling them out or pumping them faster than that. So how do I speed that up? Well, there are cards that allow you to do that. So you get your cards. You have your redstone card, capacity card, fuzzy card, acceleration card, inverter card. Inverter card is not for these. The capacity card simply allows you to choose other things to export. The redstone card determines whether or not it's always on or off or responds to redstone. The fuzzy card will allow items with metadata like bees or damage tools to be detected. So if you wanted to export all of your damaged pickaxes into a different chest, you push fuzzy comparison match any and they would pick all of them out even though they're not exactly the same. And then you have your acceleration card which you'll be using the most of. This puts out items really fast and pulls items in really fast. So you come over to your items and you have a thousand stone put this in here. Look how slow that is. So you come over to your import bus, fill these up with uh, speed upgrades, which I dropped somewhere. Speed upgrades. 
And now look how fast it's going. So that's basically how you set up an automated system and how to use cards. Next thing on this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a wireless system to access your stuff wirelessly. You're going to need a few things. You need your AE system, you need a wireless access point, and you need a wireless terminal. So build your wireless terminal. When it first starts, it won't be connected to anything. You need to build a wireless security terminal and place it on your AE system. And then simply just drop this through here, grab this, and you can charge it by putting it into a charger. Grab it out of the charger, and you can access your AE system from anywhere. And pull your items out, pull your items in, uses power, but it's convenient if you just if you don't want to have to go back to your AE system in your base. You can also upgrade your wireless access point to have better range. So this is without any range, out of range, out of range. So it looks like it's about 16 blocks or so. And you can add another 64 blocks. So I can go way over here and still access it. It's really far. That is really far. I guess it's more than just 64 blocks. It must be like 4 per or something. Whew! Wow. I wonder how far I can go away from this. The farther you go away, the more power it takes to pull stuff out. But uh, you can go pretty far, I guess. I don't know how far it is per block. I guess we could find that out real quick. After we go all the way back. Super exciting. And you can have multiple wireless points on your system. So you don't have to have a lot of upgrades. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's some exponential growth or something. Huh. I'm not quite sure. allows me to put them in and get a really far range. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you share this and leave comments or questions if you have any. Also, if you could follow me on YouTube, I'd appreciate that. Or I guess it's subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitch where I'll be doing live streams of Minecraft and other fun games. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.